I'm Steven. And I'm Tim. And this is news on the Couch Potato Saga. The other, another trailer that came out was Finding Dory, which... New Pixar movie. Steven, me and Steven have not seen a Pixar movie since 2010. I need to see Inside Out. I yeah, hear but- Inside Out's good. It hasn't even been an intentional boycott or anything. Just I feel weird going to a theater by myself to see a Pixar movie because I don't know anybody who's up for that sort of thing. I, I do. I just haven't like cars two came out and that was shit. So I, well, I heard it was shit. So didn't go see that. And then brave and monsters university were both apparently kind of meh. So I had no interest in seeing those two. And then inside out came out and that was apparently wonderful. I just never got around to seeing it. Yeah, that one's on DVD. We can maybe okay. watch it at some point. But um, the Finding Dory trailer, oh, it's a teaser. It's very much a teaser. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't really. It's Dory is trying to find her family, who she now remembers. Because as we all remember from Finding Nemo is how fucking long ago was this movie released? When oh, boy. Finding, when was Finding Nemo? I watched it's that movie. like 2004, 2005. Yeah, I remember watching that like in an elementary school. No joke, which we just dated ourselves. Uh, you now know our age. Our age. Your age, maybe. Maybe. Fuck you. You're younger. <laughs> F- yeah, man, it's been a while. But yeah, F- Dory's whole thing was She's memory forget- loss. She forgets yeah. stuff. So yeah, that's yeah, that's the journey we're going on is Dory is remembering. I thought most family. of the jokes were pretty weak, honestly. I did too. But Pixar trailers have never been great. Yeah, it's always just you see the movie and it's amazing kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, Inside Out definitely looked like this. They got their ball back correctly on the track. Yeah, it was, it was shaky there. It was kind of weird seeing Disney show show them up like kind of every now and then. If you're well, saying Pixar is Disney, everything's fucking Disney. You shut the <laughs> fuck up. I don't know. I'm kind of. I do feel like it has kind of tempered a lot of my expectations with the sequels that are coming out. Except The Incredibles 2, because, man, I want The Incredibles 2. Oh, uh, I, that is criminal that that movie is coming out in 2021. Or wait, whatever. what? No, uh, it might be 2019. I think there was another movie. I don't think out. it's 2021. That seems way too far away. Uh, it might be 2019, which is still too far. Yeah, it's too far, but still. Um, I don't know. Finding Nemo is actually one of my favorite Pixar movies, so it's kind of weird that I'm not more hyped for this than I am, I guess. I just... I guess I didn't see places where it could go afterwards. Yeah, that's kind of me too. Where Incredibles, it was very obvious the directions it could go in. Yeah. But with Finding yeah. Nemo, it's like he found Nemo. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah cause, okay. Like, what, what sequels do we have? We have Toy Story 4, which that was wrapped up in 3. I'll be honest. Toy Story 3 was wrapped up in Toy Story 2. I said it. Fuck you. That was still a pretty good movie, but. And it doesn't ha- it doesn't give me I know everybody loved that movie, but it doesn't give me a huge amount of confidence for where Pixar sequels are going and if they're strictly necessary or not. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling too. Like, and then we I have- kind of I kind of feel like a Toy Story four is more necessary than Toy Story three was. Yeah. Just because they set up like the new house, I guess. You know? Yeah. And then we have Cars three. Which is, a, no one watched Cars 2, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. And, All the kids love Cars, man. Okay. And then The Incredibles 2, which is just, it's clearly, of all the sequels they were releasing, that is clearly the one. Like, that's it right there. Like, that's the one I want to see. I mean, I guess, I guess my prevailing feeling is that at a certain point, some of these movies feel like they're no longer targeting a broader audience and more targeting new the generation money. of kids, which is fine, but yeah. Yeah. You know, just and in terms of personal interest, maybe I'm not quite there anymore. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how they do. I, I have faith in Pixar still being Pixar. I mean, I'm sure some kid in the theater is probably hyped as shit for some talking fish, but you know, yeah, I just, I'm kind of feeling that too recently. It's just, it just doesn't feel like these are movies. For me, and I mean, they've never been, but they've always Pixar movies have always been really good at being able to kind of appeal that broad to like that really broad audience. 
Yeah. Like anyone can enjoy Up. Like Up, Up is amazing. Up, and then you have Wall E, which was amazing, and it's just they, they've been very good at doing that. And I just don't know this direction they're going to keep going in. Which I don't blame them. I'm sure it's easier just writing for kids, but yeah, I don't know. It's, I guess we'll see. I guess I do want more original content from them. I guess, and so I don't know. I guess we should go see the good dinosaur and put our money where our mouths are. You know? No kidding. I guess. So I don't know. Finding Dory trailer, okay. I guess we'll see. 